Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel if y'all are new. My name is Sonali and today I'm going to give y'all my best tips on how to decorate your apartment on a budget. Let's get started. So my first tip for y'all is to find a way to make your normal bedding look more expensive. I've been eyeing this specific duvet cover from Urban Outfitters for the longest time. For some reason, I can never get myself to add it to my cart. So I decided to search for other ways to make my bedding kind of look similar to that and give it that like Moroccan vibe. So I was actually at Target one day and found this end of the bed throw blanket and it's not like a very comfortable cozy throw blanket. It's not like furry or anything. It's literally just like a a decoration for the end of your bed when you make it in the morning and I really think this adds so much to the room without it it just looks obviously normal I also found some throw pillows to make the bed look a little bit more comfy and cozy my second tip is to use things you already have as decoration so for example I bought this speech bag about a year ago for my college spring break and I thought this was the cutest thing. I don't think it was too expensive, but it definitely was in like 10 bucks. Um, and it's from Amazon, so I'll actually link it down below for you guys. But I thought might as well use it as decoration because it kind of fits the vibe of this room. You can also do this with hats you own because hats are like a trendy thing right now. For your beauty area, you can decorate with perfumes or if you have any nicely packaged products that are super clean and just minimal looking, I feel like these are really great decorations. And I feel like a lot of brands are trying to strive for that minimal packaging look that you can use as decoration. The third way you can decorate on a budget is with prints. I personally bought my prints off of Etsy. Some of the places were having sales, so I think one print was around $5. You can also get sets of prints so you can get a better deal while filling up more space. But if you wanna save a little bit more money, you can definitely create your own prints, whether that's in Photoshop, Procreate on the iPad or just like watercolors and paint the old-fashioned way You can definitely have some fun with that abstract art is in and will always be in so you don't even really have to consider yourself artistic you just have to be open-minded and I don't know, just like do some line drawings. Those are always super cool. I think it definitely gets expensive when you're trying to buy frames, but I found some really good priced frames on Amazon that actually came in a couple of packs of three, two, and four. I'll link the frames that I bought down below, but if you have one print, I think the best thing to do is just go to your local Goodwill or thrift store or even just Target and Walmart. I mean, they have pretty affordable frames. And if you see something like you like the design, but maybe not the color, then you can obviously spray paint the frame itself. My fourth tip is to find dupes for furniture that you love. I know we all love the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch, and I was just obsessed with the idea of getting a white couch. I don't know why, but I just could not shake it. So I decided to start my white couch hunt early on, and I actually found a couch that I liked a lot more than the Cloud Couch because the Cloud Couch is like really slouchy, and so the one I got was a little bit more stiff and just like looked a little bit more structured. I will link similar styles to my couch down below. I found so many beautiful couches after I actually bought that one, but I still love my couch. Also look out for coupon codes. I know that there are so many plugins on Safari or Chrome. I know of one called Honey and basically you just like plug in the extension on your Chrome or Safari browser. And every time you shop, you literally just click one button and then it just searches the whole web for a coupon. I've definitely used this in the past and it saved me quite a bit of money, especially on big ticket items like this. Another way you can save is to use your first time discount code. If you sign up for their email list, they will probably give you a bit of a discount off your first time buying something off their site. So definitely join their email list and try to find out if you can save some money that way. I know I already mentioned Goodwill, but I did want to make this my fifth tip along with going to the dollar store. You definitely have to be open-minded of what you can find and like what you can turn it into. It would definitely be more of like a DIY decoration if you did want to go to these two places. Um, but I know that there's so many cool things at the dollar store that you can turn into something bigger and better. And same with Goodwill, like I was saying about the frames. If you see a design you like and maybe it's just not the right color, then you can easily paint over it and make it your own. In college, when I lived in a sorority house, my bed was pretty high up. So that meant my decorations were high up too. And I didn't want to film on my bed for my YouTube videos. So I needed like a higher chair. So we decided to go to Goodwill. And with the help of my friend, Lara, we transformed the this chair and it matched my room perfectly. We reupholstered the cushion and we painted the chair itself and it definitely turned out really cute. Number six is to use mirrors to open up your space. I feel like mirrors bring in a lot of light and
and just make the space look a lot bigger than they did. So I would definitely recommend to look at TJ Maxx or at home or really any of those home decor stores that are more affordable. I found this specific mirror and I'm in love because it's a full length mirror and I'm able to take really cute outfit posts in it. My last and seventh tip is to utilize Facebook Marketplace. I cannot stress this one enough to y'all. I actually discovered this when I moved to Austin because I didn't want to buy every decoration or everything that we needed new. I didn't want to blow all my savings on it. And y'all, this is my holy grail. I literally go on this more than twice a day and you can actually search for anything specific you're looking for or you can just browse like I do because that's honestly the best way I've found really cool things. When people post something, it might get taken pretty fast. So just be sure to check the app pretty frequently. I just wanted to show y'all everything I bought from Facebook Marketplace because I'm really proud of my finds and everything just looks so cute in my apartment. So here we go. I also like Facebook Marketplace better than OfferUp and LetGo because you can actually click on the person's profile and look at their page. I mean, even if it's private, you can tell if it's legit or not. Um, so you don't want to get yourself into any sticky situations. And I would always recommend picking up your item in a public place or if the item is only pickup, bring a buddy just in case. So those are my seven ways on how to affordably decorate your apartment. Let me know if you guys use any of these tips and if you do use Facebook Marketplace, let me know what you find because that just makes me so excited. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.